Hello everyone. I actually have my doubts that anyone's uh, out there today because we've got a little bit quiet after the holidays, but just in case, um, I wanted to actually talk to you a little bit about assessment number three because it's coming up on the 10th of October. Yay! And firstly, we're still in the middle of marking assessment number two, so usually it's two weeks before anything's released, so just bear that in mind. Um, look, so far I think it, it's generally a great result. Um, a really good average and I can tell that people really responded to feedback etc in terms of the assignment so uh, that's all I can say at the moment and as I said it's still an ongoing process and we collaborate together as well as in the ELAs and the uh, um, unit coordinator the UC. Um, with assessment number three Basically, the issues that we're now covering that we're looking at up until week 11, you're asked to adopt a, an approach in considering that type of issue. So this week, for example, we were looking at um, the economy, economic security, uh, the Washington Consensus, which is very much based on, yes, a very European, almost, you know, so traditional type approach, but also a liberal approach which is basically saying peace comes through trade and investment cooperation. So um, there's a fair bit of statistical evidence to suggest that, yes, the world has uh, developed with increased trade and investment, that extreme poverty at the very least has been halved. Yet if you're taking a more human-centered approach uh, or even a gendered approach, you're going to be looking at equity issues, etc. So that's just one example, just one little hint, but we'll be covering different issues as we go along. So just bear in mind the approaches that we've been looking at for this assessment and how you might apply them to a specific issue in the up and coming weeks. Uh, so other than that, you know, well done on all getting your assessments in. Um, and there's a couple of people for, for really good reasons whose assessments are still coming in. Just remember that when it comes to assessment number three as well, uh, asking for extensions early if you know you're going to need one is going to be better than later. Please listen to your audio comment. I try and make it really practical to give you advice on, you know, usually the one or two things you really need to work on to get up to that next level. So uh, great job, everybody, and um, I will speak to you again soon.